Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame, and I want to speak for a moment about the films of Jean-Luc Godard, who is one of the most famous of the French New Wave filmmakers, whose career began in 1959-60 with a film called Breathless, a film which he basically almost improvised on the spot. Um, Godard is important because he basically, along with the other New Wave filmmakers like Agnès Varda and François Truffaut and Alain René, changed the rules of cinema. The way he shot Breathless, for example, when a scene became boring, he would simply do jump cuts, which is more or less just cutting within the scene to the next interesting moment. And this is something that was absolutely pioneered by Godard. He then went into a streak of films in the 1960s that were just fascinating and challenging to the viewer. Things like Alphaville, a futuristic science fiction fantasy, My Life to Live, which is about prostitution, Le Mepris Contempt, which is about the breakup of a marriage, as well as Band of Outsiders. And then his film career culminated in the 1960s in a film called Weekend, made in 1967, which is a modern vision of hell featuring the world's longest traffic jam, a 20-minute tracking shot that just goes through the French countryside and shows cars backed up for miles while there's accidents in the foreground that basically are blocking all traffic. After this, he made one film with the Rolling Stones called One Plus One, also known as Sympathy for the Devil, then abandoned commercial filmmaking to start a Dizia Vertov group, which is an experimental group of filmmakers with a man named Jean-Pierre Gorin. They made experimental films for a long time, but basically he's now come back into the commercial marketplace with films like Tout Va Bien and his most recent film, Film Socialisme, which was at the uh, Cannes Film Festival. And Godard has recently now in 2010 been nominated for, and actually he's going to be given, um, an Honorary Academy Award. But whether or not he'll accept it is another question because Godard is notorious for not showing up at events to honor him because he believes the films should speak for themselves. Jean-Luc Godard, one of the most iconoclastic pioneers of the new wave cinema. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.